Hello dear children, I'm happy to see you. It's a good day when God has given all of us a long March break to enjoy time with Jesus. Jesus wants us to spend more time with him. So today I'm going to tell you a story about two sisters. But before we start the story, shall we start with a word of prayer? Please close your eyes, hold your hands. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank thee for bringing all of us together in your loving name, Lord. Thank you for giving us this opportunity to praise thee and to worship thee, Lord, and to remember thee during our holidays. Bless all these children who are taking an interest in coming to you, Lord. Bless them and help them in all their activities throughout their holidays, Lord. Bless them with good health and strength. Bless the parents who are taking care of them. Look after them. Help them to listen to the story and their craft, Lord, and help them to do their best. We ask this prayer in your precious name. Amen. There were two sisters, Mary and Martha. They were very fond of Jesus. One day when Jesus came to their town, Martha was keen that Jesus should come to their house. So she invited them to their house. When Jesus had come there, he sat in their room and he was telling them, giving them different types of advice, which Mary, innocently, she went and sat beside Jesus and she was listening to all that he was talking to the people and to her. But Martha was excited that Jesus had come to her house and she wanted to do her best for Jesus by preparing the food, cleaning the house and she was upset that Mary was just sitting beside Jesus' feet and listening to his word. So she went and complained to Jesus, saying, Jesus, Mary is not helping me in any way. She is just sitting here and lazy. She is not doing any work at home. But Jesus said, Martha, your decision is wrong. I want Mary to listen to my word. I want her to spend more time with me. I want her to listen to my word. I want you also to do the same. The work in the house is not so important as the, wor the word of God. So, what Mary did was right. Don't be upset about it. You children will be fighting with your brothers and sisters when they don't help you. In the same way, Mary and Martha, at least Martha was upset that Mary did not help her. But Mary felt that Jesus' words were more important. Now you children are all in a long holiday. God has given you plenty of time to spend with him. He wants you to spend your precious time with him. So every day I request all your children to pray every day. As soon as you get up, brush your teeth, read the Bible. I told you all earlier, just a few verses you read and think about what you have read and pray about it. Sing praises. James uncle has taught you so many songs. I have also taught you so many songs. Praise Jesus and worship Him every day. Spend more time with Jesus and you will see the blessings that follow up. So dear children, please do not forget Jesus. Spend more time, especially during your holidays. And it will be a real blessing to you. God bless you all. Today we are just going to do a simple clock where you see you have to spend more time with Jesus. Time is more precious. Time is 
does not wait for man. So we have to spend it usefully. So these are simple things which we are going to use for the craft. This is just a small disposable plate which we are using. The things required are scissors, sketch pen, whatever waste material. Now these are just extra decorations which you can use for your clock, beads, strips of paper, pencil, ruler, eraser and scissors. Now I want you to just take the plate, mark the center first. You have to center it just approximately, you can just center it. Then mark a point on top of it and take your ruler, place it exactly opposite to this line which you have marked and mark another line. First you must mark your four points 12, 6, 3 and 9. Now take approximately half the thing. You have marked one half here. So keep your ruler and mark the next point. In between the first point and the second point, you mark two more points in between. Now between the second and the third point, you mark two more points. Between the third point and the fourth point, you mark two more points. Let it be approximately equal. And between the third and the fourth and the third, the uh, first, you mark two more points. Now you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve points. Okay? Now you have to cut out a strip of paper. And just for the points, you can cut out a V shape at the end. Next, you take the measurement from the center to the side, a little short, not too much to the end, but just from the center to one of the points, a little shorter, you cut out a small hand. Then the next end you place with this and make it a little bigger. Keep this close and let it be little bigger from the center. Mark it, fold it there and cut it on that line. Now you have two hands for the clock. Now you can use any material. Now here I have used the stickers just to indicate a little decoration, a decorative clock. I've just used stickers. Here I've used stones, just plastic stones like these stickers over here and you can, now we are going to do a little animal clock. So at each number we will stick a little animal. Now I have Tap the animals all round beside each number. I've written the number. First you write 12 in the center and then follow by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and you close with 11. Then you take the needle and thread. Take a thick thread. Help. Ask mommy or daddy to help you. 
to use the needle and thread. Be careful, you don't use it as you are still little children. Now, hook your needle in the center of your plate. Don't pull out the entire thread till the end. Keep a little bit below hanging like this. Then threadle a... I just have a black bead. You can put any bead you like. Sorry, first you have to... Put the big hand... Put a hole in the big hand. Thread it. Put a hole in the small hand and thread it. Now push it till the end. Now you put the bead in. Now in the same Not into the same bead, but on the hands, you take it in again and put it back into the center of the hole here. And pull your thread carefully till the bead rests on the hands. Now hold both these ends, turn your plate, hold both these ends tight, now threadle another bead. And put two knots, two or three knots And then cut your thread. Now you can adjust your hand in any time. All of you all are learning about your timings also. In class you learn about hours, minutes, seconds. So you can show this to your teacher as a sample of your clock also. Now. With your sketch pen, you can write below time. with Jesus is the best time. today's craft. I hope you like it. It's the time you spend with Jesus which is the best time of the day. So please children pray to Jesus praise God and spend your time usefully. Also don't forget your lessons that you are doing at school. Each day spend a short while with your lessons also. God bless you all. Thank you.